Okay, sorry you guys, my phone got overheated. So they were like, your phone needs to cool down a bit. So it's looking like I'm gonna have to hold it. I was trying not to. But basically, in a nutshell, so that this won't be long and drawn out, I feel like spirit is calling so many of us to really start walking in our power and our authority of literally creating and manifesting the lifestyle that we desire, both for ourselves and of course for other people. When you try this on yourself, when you put this to work for yourself, then eventually you'll be able to instruct other people in how to do the same. And to me, this is what this is about. This is a what this is part of what our mission here is for. For us to get back to our own divinity and then encourage our brethren and sistren to do the same. Let me slow down over here. Oh, I love to see those doggone trees. So, hi you guys. Hi to everybody that's here. I want to know. Spirit had also said, this is the way they said it. What are you thinking about? What are you trying to manifest? Okay, because this is the thing. Whether you understand this or not, whatever you're spending the most time focusing on, that's what the fuck you're manifesting. And I had to say it like that. That's what you are manifesting. Wherever the majority of your energies wherever your mind is at the most whatever it's on that's what you're manifesting this is for you to talk for real let me see what is being said here quetta stubs you looking cute boo thank you quetta thank you girl i appreciate that but yeah that's what spirit wants to know what are you focusing on and they're not only asking like they don't really know they're asking because they're trying to get our brains into shape because they're trying to get you to snap out of the shit you've been thinking about that you really don't want that you're actually afraid of they want you to get out of that and start thinking about what the what do you want <laughs> i just imagined uh from my, one of my favorite love stories the notebook when noah is asking Allie what does she want and she's like it's not that easy it's not that simple and the truth of it is it really is it really actually is fear would cause you to uh, fear makes us believe that what we want is impossible I'm just here to be a, a beacon of light this morning I'm done I have said what I feel like spirit really wants me to say I hope and pray that those who are meant to get this message really understand what I'm saying and really start practicing y'all what's the worst that can happen if you start to really practice this shit what's the worst that can happen what that it don't manifest for you right but what if it does what if it does I'm here as a living witness it can manifest I'm talking about, aside from my apartment, I've manifested so many different things in my life and that was not really focusing on it. That was not really paying attention. Not even really being 100% sure. But now that I've been tapping in and manifesting and I know what the freak I'm doing now, to see this continuously happen on everything, money, opportunities, it's been amazing. It has truly, truly been amazing. And I can only imagine, I'm, a, I'm over here like, God damn, I should have been doing this. Purposely, not accidentally, not being scary and shit. Not being like, oh, I hope this shit works. Oh, shaking in my boots like the cowardly lion. No, I should have been in my, I got courage attitude the whole time and I wasn't. And, and when you guys start putting this into practice, you're gonna feel the same way. You're gonna be like, God damn, it was this easy. All I really had to do was for real, for real, believe. Believe in myself. Believe in what I wanted. Believe in maybe what spirit was saying that I could have. That was it. And believe in it without doubt. No matter what appeared in front of me, that was all I had to do was believe. Like a kid. Wow. You gonna, If y'all try it, you will see. Now you can't be dumb. You can't be stupid. 
like I said, it has to be something that is already in alignment with what spirit already has for you. So you might want to figure out what your purpose is. You might want to figure out what you're here to do. You might want to tap into that energy. If you haven't got with yourself and figured out who you are and what you like, why you like it, what you're good at, and why and all that kind of stuff then you might be manifesting from the wrong place and what spirit don't want to do is give you some shit that you don't know what to do with it so this is for people who are taking control of their minds it takes practice it really does especially when you've been taught this whole time that your mind, oh my God, you should be careful. You might be cuckoo. You might be crazy. Um, certain things don't work for you. You can't do certain things that other people can do. When you've been told and conditioned all these things for so long, you begin to doubt your own power. That's true. Everybody, we all been in that. We all been in that energy. But guess what? All it takes is a change of your heart. And I'm talking about this heart. All it takes is a change of your mind. You can declare, I don't want to accept that shit anymore. I want something different for myself. So therefore, I'm going to choose to believe that I can have something different. And the moment that you do that and you start acting like you want something different. So many doors begin to open for you. It's crazy in the best possible way. Thank you, Jackie. I hope y'all listening to the message though. God dang it. Steady talking about this space. Though I'm grateful. I put it on for that reason. Spirit, I mean, I was listening to spirit today all the way, all the way. My spirit was like, go ahead and look cute today. You and your energy. Get in your energy. Look cute. I was like, okay. It is my season. It is my season. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's all I wanted to say. I, I'm pretty sure that spirit is... I said what they wanted me to say, okay? So with that being said, if you need some assistance, if you need some encouragement, this is what your spiritual tribe is for. This is what your soul family and your soul tribe is for. If you do not have one, hello somebody, maybe the reason that you came across this video was so that you could find somebody whose energy you could tap into just for a moment until you build up the, the strength within yourself. I could be that. Maybe that's why you were led to the video. Maybe that's why we connected in the first place. All right, I'm gonna shut up. I'm done. All right, let me run up into this Wally world real quick, handle my business, and then get up out of here. But what are you thinking about? What are you focusing on? Is it what you really want? Or are you being scary? Are you manifesting from a place of doubt, insecurities, fear and shit? Or are you manifesting from a place of power? From a place of you realizing what you want? And you know what? Let me tell y'all this and then I'm going to leave y'all alone. I promise. Understand that you've been manifesting the whole time. Understand that everything that has surrounded you, everything that has possibly happen to you that is within your power you have had a hand in manifesting it take ownership of that understand that know that it was thoughts that you had things that you said even things that you didn't say thoughts that you chose not to think maybe because you felt like it could not happen for you or because somebody made you feel like some shit could not happen for you you made a choice to believe what that person felt for you versus what you felt for yourself. And that's on you. So, when you recognize that you had the power all along, then guess what? You can take the power back if you gave it away. You can begin to practice on purpose. Manifesting shit. What you want. What you don't want. Get clear about it. Put it in your mind, speak it into the universe, even if you're just speaking it internally, quietly. Speak it to yourself. Believe in that for yourself and watch that the universe will open up mother flipping doors to make sure that you get what you want. 
Not even just what you want. See, because you got to move from a place of wanting to knowing that you already have it. That's another thing that's really important when it comes to manifestation. When I talked on the other video about envisioning yourself with what you have, envisioning yourself with what you want, envisioning is a great tool, but you also have to exercise the feelings. How are you going to feel when you get it? What do you think you're going to do when you get it? Envision yourself doing all of that. Envision, envision yourself having what you want expressing and experiencing the feelings that you are going to feel when you get it and then you already have it and then from there it's the universe's responsibility to make manifest what you already have period period without further ado that's all I got to say. I love you guys with the love of the most high. Again, peaceful rest day to everybody. Um, if you want some more encouragement, because I'm a cheerleader in this bitch. I know that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to encourage other people. I'm here to share my own experiences. If you want that, I can help you with that. I'm a coach, cheerleader, teacher, whatever you want to call it. This is what I do. So hit me up, prettycoachorals.com. Look at the services that I offer. Take your own self seriously. But for sure, take with people this year. I'm not, I'm not cutting down prices unless spirit tells me. And I'm not finna play with nobody that's not serious about really putting that change in their mentality. If you're not serious about changing your mentality, then don't talk to me. Because as though although I'm very loving and I am a cheerleader for my people, it's up. In the way that you're thinking, if I see you second guessing yourself, not that I haven't been there, but because I've been there, I'm gonna get like I had to get my own self together. And if you don't like that, you probably ain't gonna like me. I can be nice, nasty, I can be sweet as pie, or I can be direct. All of it is love nonetheless. Please know this. I love y'all. Okay. All right. I'm done. Let me see what y'all talk about. All right, you guys, I love you guys with the love of the most high. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out here. And I ain't talking about the stupid Corona. I'm not talking about the Corona. All right. Be safe. It's high. Keep your thoughts on what you want. If you don't know what you want yet and you need some assistance with figuring that out, you can hit me up for that too. But I'm going to tell you now, all of the messages that Spirit have been given for the last or the last two weeks has been to go within yourself. They're ready and they are available to you to tell you what you need to do. So open yourself up to spirit. Bye y'all.